In a media-saturated world, media literacy is an essential skill for each of us. Therefore, it is important to find ways to develop media literacy equality. While media literacy is important for everyone, different people may have different needs. There is also no one right way to develop media literacy, but there are many possibilities. This encourages us to consider media literacy and the work to promote it from the perspective of those involved. Developing equitable media literacy work is not a simple or easy task. It requires time and commitment, experimentation and learning. However, there is always an opportunity for everyone to take small steps and you don't have to do everything alone. It is important to start boldly, even if everything is not completely clear beforehand. Development is a shared process. Everyone has something to learn and everyone has something to teach. Activities can be planned and implemented independently with a partner or colleague, with partners and networks, or together with the participants. Leadership, planning and structure are important in creating the conditions for equal work. Instructional principles for inclusive media literacy have been created to help you reflect on and find ways to improve your practice related to equity and accessibility. They have been developed by listening to professionals who developed and implement media literacy or media re related skills in their own work in different ways. Instead of ready-made content, the instructional principles will help, help you get started or further develop your own activities. Rather than a set of guidelines, they are a collection of perspectives, considerations and advice to help you plan your activities from your own point of view. They are also a basis for discussion and for identifying your own strengths. To help you put the principles into practice, they include examples of different ways of working and practical tips. They can be briefly adapted to your own work and supplemented and developed based on your experience and expertise. In this video series, we will go through all the instructional principles and give examples of ways to implement the instructional principles in your own practice. In addition to the video series, we recommend that you consult the brochure that explain the instructional principles in more detail. Welcome aboard!